Hey everyone, it's a great day in sports analytics. My name is Victor Holman, sports analytics expert, and welcome to the sports analytics three minute drill, where I break down sports analytic methods and explain how they're being used today in the world of sports. Today, I'm gonna to discuss probability. And remember, probability can be built into the Azure Sports Analytics framework and model in order to optimize player profiles and ensure that players are executing the coach's strategy. And remember, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe. So let's begin. Applying the Rules of Probability to Sports Probability is the measure of the likelihood that an event will occur. Probability quantifies as the number between 0 and 1, where, loosely speaking, 0 indicates impossibility and 1 indicates certainty. The higher the probability of an event, the more likely it is that the event will occur. Sports statistics regularly use the theory of probability. It is important to have a good grasp of the concept in order to use the information appropriately and understand the meaning behind it. The starting point in sports probability is an experiment. An experiment is any course of action where the outcome is random. An experiment can be very general, such as a football game, or more specific, such as the quarterback throwing a pass to one of its receivers. Once the type of experiment has been determined, the next step is looking at the specific events. Events are the outcomes of the experiment. In terms of the football game, the event could be the final score, the number of passing yards, or the number of passes attempted. In terms of the quarterback throwing a pass, the event could be whether it was a success or failure, or the number of yards gained. Each event has a corresponding probability. Probability is defined as the measure of how often a particular event will happen if the experiment is done repeatedly. Probability tells us what will occur in a theoretical situation. If you toss a coin an infinite number of times, you'll get heads 50% of the time. However, if you toss a coin only twice, you are not guaranteed to get a head once and a tails once. Therefore, a probability is not a guarantee of an outcome, but an indicator of what should happen if everything follows the same pattern as it had in the past. At times, we might want to look at the probability that something will not happen. This is found by subtracting the probability that it will happen from 1. The chance that an event will happen is most often expressed as probability. However, sometimes it's easier to use the odds rather than the probabilities. To find the odds of an event happening, you take the probability of that event happening and divide it by 1 minus the probability of the event. When probabilities are very small or very large, they become unwieldy to work with and difficult to interpret. In these instances, it is easier to work with odds rather than probabilities. When odds are used within the world of sports, they are able to indicate the relative difficulty of an event. The greater the odds, the harder it is for success to be achieved, and consequently is less likely to occur. Analysts use probabilities and odds to make predictions regarding outcomes of games and the performance of various players during the game. Coaches use probability as a tool to determine what areas their team needs to work on in order to increase the probability of success. And that is probability applied to sports in three minutes. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. If you'd like to learn about a groundbreaking approach for leveraging analytics to get players to execute team strategy, check out my Agile Sports Analytics framework, software, and mobile app. If you'd like to know how your team or sports organization can leverage analytics across the seven key maturity areas and 26 best practices, check out my sports analytics maturity model and take the free comprehensive sports analytics maturity assessment. To learn more about this and 150 different sports analytic methods, purchase my book, Sports Analytics from A to Z, available on Amazon. And if you need help developing analytic models that create a competitive edge, contact me for a free consultation at www.agilesportsanalytics.com or call me at 888-861-8733.